Next, I'm going to make a bow using a 6 inch wide ribbon. This roll is 6 inches in width, 10 yards in length. And then I'm also going to use a 2.5 inch uh, yellow and white stripe, but I'm going to do a stacked bow, so we'll work on that later. This is a bodabra. This is a plastic uh, piece. This uh, bow maker you can get at Walmart. The board my husband made for me. Um, people are always asking me what size board it is. And it's 20 inches, 9 inches. 9 inches deep, 20 inches wide, and it's about 3 quarters of an inch in depth. This piece is the ribbon holder and it comes from the uh, Provo bow maker. Now we sell this bow maker on the website. Uh, it has a board and it has lots of different bow designs that you can do but for this one I'm just going to do a large wreath bow and I'm going to use my spool holder from the Provo. I'm just going to put my ribbon on the spool holder with the ribbon coming off to the right. You can see that. Okay, and then I'm going to decide the length of my tails, and I'm going to make my tails uh, about 20 inches, so I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece that's about 40 inches in length, and I'm going to cut that. We can chevron those ends when we get finished. But I'm going to take that piece, that's the tails of my bow. And there's my center. So I'm going to go ahead and just slide that right down in the bow maker. Just scrunch that down. Just pull those tails uh, down out of the way like that. Now I'm also going to take a large uh, zip tie. And I'm going to... I actually want that on the bottom. And then my tails go right on top of that. Okay? Now we're going to take our ribbon. And we're going to take about a, a three inch tail and just leave that short piece right there. I'm going to go ahead and push that out of the way a little bit. Now, we always want to work with the right side of the ribbon up. So I'm going to twist my ribbon so that when I make my loop, my right side will be up. And I'm going to make this bow around 12, 13 inches in diameter. I have a marking on the edge of my board here so that I keep them all the same. Just scrunch that down. Of course, you've got a lot of bulkiness to work with. So I'm gonna scrunch that down. And then I'm gonna twist my ribbon again so that when I make my loop on the opposite side, I still have the right side up. You can always, you can take this little tool and just slide down in there and scrunch that down. Right. I'm going to put my right side up, make my second loop on that side. even. Twist. I think we'll do about three loops. Gonna press that down again. that side. Twist. Okay. Scrunch that down again. So 
I have three loops on each side. So I have to twist one more time. Let me stop right here because uh, typically I would make my little center loop, but I'm going to make a bow out of this uh, yellow stripe and stack it on top of that. So I don't need to make a center loop right now. What I will do is go ahead and end off this ribbon. I'm just going to leave a tail of three or four inches. Just cut my ribbon free. Now I can always make this smaller after I'm finished, but just get that out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and just gently pull this up off the bodabra, keeping it all stacked nice and neat. I'm going to take that chenille stem that I put in there. Just to kind of keep this secure, I'll be attaching both bows together, but I want to secure this <clears throat> before I go any farther. I'm just going to hold that stacked. And I'm just going to go ahead and snug up that zip tie just to hold this bow good till I'm done. Snip off that zip tie end with some wire cutters. Okay. So now we have tails coming to the front. And we've got three loops on each side. So we're just going to set that aside because we're going to make a bow about the same size uh, out of this two and a half inch yellow. So we're going to also do tails about the same length. We need another zip tie. the center point of your tails, your tails face up, just let those come down off the front. I'm going to use the ribbon holder again, put that ribbon where it rolls off to the right side. I'm going to start, I'm going to just use, uh, leave about a three or four inch tail to get started. Now I have my ribbon, I have my face side up, so I'm going to twist. Gonna make my ribbon about the same size. Make my bow about the same size. Third loop on the right side. There's my third loop on the left side. Now, this time I do need to twist and come back one more time, and I'm going to make a little loop for the center. It's just going to be smaller, about like that. I'm scrunch down my. And I'm going to cut my ribbon free. I'm going to leave just a, uh, about three inches or so. And like I say, I can always come back and make that shorter. Now, I'm going to very easily, very gently pull my stack. Make sure that my ribbon stays stacked. And I'm going to take that zip tie. Come around to the back. I'm just going to go ahead and zip tie this bow together just like I did the other one. Cut off that end. We got 
tails coming to the front. Push that out of the way. We don't need that anymore. And then that center loop, you just pull that over. You see we have three loops on each side. Now, we do have that little short tail, and we're going to cut that later, but we're not going to do it just yet. But you pull that last small loop over to make it come to the center. Okay. So now... We're going to take our big bow, and we're going to stack our yellow bow on top of that. And we have to secure all this together. So we'll have all of our loops right side up, tails coming off the front. So we're going to take another zip tie, and I'm also going to need a chenille stem. But I'm going to take a zip tie, and I'm going to go right to the side, right on top of where my other zip tie was to secure my bow. I'm going to go right down on top of that. I'm going to secure that right down on top of the big bow, the black bow. And I'm going to bring that around to the back. Now, before I pull that zip tie completely tight, I'm going to slide a chenille stem under that zip tie, and that's what I'm going to use to attach my bow to my wreath. So I'm just going to slide that under there. I'll let it hold on something. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and pull that bow tight. Now all we've got to do is just finish fluffing our bow out. We're going to go back this short tail where we ended off our yellow ribbon. We're going to cut it short. Don't cut it so short that it pulls out of your zip tie, but cut it off about a half inch so that your center loop will cover that up okay. The same way with the short end where we ended off or where we started on the um, wide ribbon we're going to cut that off so now we've got our ribbon secured with our zip ties and we've got our uh, chenille stem on the back to uh, hang it by so we're just going to kind of fluff those ribbons out This is all wired edge ribbon, so it makes it easier to, to shake your uh, bow um, like you want it. Now, we're going to take these ends and chevron the ends of these ribbons. We're just going to fold that, cut across that folded edge, and that makes a nice chevron. We'll do that to our ribbon ends. 